Like, even if you just... Did I just whack myself in the face? I just whack myself. Money, because I was a baby. back to my channel it is officially spring which means that summer is just around the corner but like not really because in Canada it's still pretty cold um, but today I have a spring summer festival kind of haul for you before I start the haul I just want to say thank you to boohoo for collaborating with me for this haul today. They sent me a few items from their festival collection which you guys can shop and I'll put all the links down below. I've never been to a festival um, myself so far yet but I love it when people post their Coachella pictures and their festival pictures. I'm just like sad. I don't want to dress like that too but like a little bit more toned down because let's just get right into the haul and if you guys are curious about any of the things that I'm showing today it will all be linked down below you can shop the festival collection at boohoo so the first thing I picked out I actually got two shorts um, I don't have a good pair of shorts I like this one because it looked like it had the silhouette of like the bottom I was going for this one does like show a little bit more than I am comfortable with per se but they are so cute and they fit really well um this is from the petite line and i got this in a us size zero and um this one is called the petite high-waisted extreme fay hem denim short so this is what they look like and they do have like the button up all the way and i really like the frayed detail at the bottom so I like these this one I don't have the tag with me so I don't know the exact name but isn't this the bougiest cutest little choker you ever did see so I think it's called the Diamante choker but I could be wrong I'll put it down here I saw this and I'm like you know what I want to be bougie I want to wear a cute little crystal choker and just look like I have a sugar daddy it's okay the next thing that I'm gonna talk about is this crop top this is called the satin peplum top and this is in the color cream I love how the back looks I, I love how that it's crisscrossed in the back and I like how it zips the only thing that I am not a huge fan of is like the way that it comes out of the boobicus part but I feel like it only doesn't really work that well for me because I don't have a huge bust but I mean it still looks cute on me and I still feel good rocking it this next one might just be my favorite out of like everything that I got it's just an oversized windbreaker and this is actually in an extra small this is called the hooded panel windbreaker um, and I got it in like the pink style because pink is my favorite color as you guys know and if you guys don't know already, I am going to Taiwan with my best friend, my boyfriend, and it's just going to be a lot of fun, but I heard that Taiwan weather can kind of be like so-so. It can either be like super hot. We're going in the fall time, so I decided I wanted to pick up a cute little windbreaker that's not super thick, but also will keep me warm if I need it to. The next top that I'm going to talk about is the tie back flare sleeve woven crop. I picked this because I love the sleeves. I don't know why what has gotten into me. I'm just like suddenly all about some crazy ass sleeves. Okay, I like the bell sleeves. I like the cinch sleeves. sleeves. I like anything that's basically not a plain sleeve at this point. Um, and I just, I like how the back is so open. It's like a little risque, a little bit like, ooh, this, I'm hot and I know it kind of bullshit. But I would probably wear a bralette with this because it is see-through a little bit. Personally, I like this for the beach. I think it'd be a cute little cover-up over a bikini, so. Do people wear bikinis and stuff to festivals? Like, is that a thing? Is that an ongoing trend or is that just... I don't know. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is like really, really cute and I didn't know I needed this in my life until now. This is a fanny pack, a belt bag, whatever you want to call it. I'm still not entirely sure how I'm supposed to put it on. Like, am I supposed to put this belt part in the front or am I supposed to put it in the back or am I supposed to put this belt on the side? I kind of like wearing this at the front so I'm not entirely sure like 
the belt situation but anyways like it is so cute on and this is so functional so you guys know me I am a huge bag person I feel like I'm gonna do a bag collection video I just love like out of all the accessories out of anything I love bags like that's just my sh I have loved bags forever and this is no exception and the reason why I actually really love this is because it is very secure like it look I can turn it upside down, I can dance and shit, and this is an opening. It is like a magnetic closure, but it is really like secure. It's pretty hard. I don't know if you guys can see. You do kind of need to put a little bit of force to open it. This is called the Ivy Quilted Belt Bum Bag in Black. And it does only come in one size, so if you guys wanted something bigger... Um, this only comes in one size, but it actually looks like it would fit a lot. And I'm not familiar with what you would bring to a festival. However, I saw this and I was like, this is going to be perfect for the summer when I go to amusement parks, when I go to the exhibition, when I go to Wonderland, when I go anywhere that I want to be hands-free and like still enjoy my time. It fits like literally all the essentials. You can put a little thing of sunscreen in there, some lip balm, a card, some cash and you're good to go. Like it's not leather feeling, it's more of a fabric, which I can appreciate because when it's hot, I hate it <laughs> when it's hot and you got leather sticking to you, girl, it's so uncomfortable. So it's lightweight, it's really nice feeling, and I'm just like, I'm selling this bag right now because I love it and I think everyone should own at least one of these. The next thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I'm not entirely sure complements my figure super well, but it's really comfortable and I actually really like it, but call me crazy if you don't. This is the petite v-neck smock dress in the color black, obviously. Now my whole thing for getting this again is the sleeves, like look how cute! I was thinking I could get like a belt to kind of cinch it in in the middle to give me some more definition, but also I was thinking that belt bag would be really cute with this too. And I like the neckline and I like the little ruffled skirt. I don't own any mock neck dresses so I figured like this would be a good time to try one because all of the dresses that I have for summer and summertime are really tight. <laughs> but like not saying there's anything wrong with tight dresses. I love my tight dresses obviously. In the summer I feel like especially when it's so humid and so sticky I like something that'll like ventilate give the pits some ventilation give everything else some ventilation you know what I'm saying I'm glad I'm glad we had this talk the next thing I want to talk about are the shorts that I'm actually wearing these guys are called the Cecily cut out hem frayed denim mom shorts now I think I like these ones the best out of between the two um, only because this one does cover my bum just a little bit more. They are still quite short, but I'm comfortable with the length because like even if you peek from the side, you can't see like much ass hanging out, which I appreciate and I like the little details. And these are pockets that work, which if you're a woman, you know that the fashion industry hates us and we don't, they don't like giving us pockets that work, but these ones do. The back pockets also work and they're just full on just comfortable and this one also has the zipper instead of like the button up which I obviously appreciate and this thing it was the first thing that I saw on the website that really caught my eye that I was like that is so different I don't have any of those in my closet so this is called the tiger print bowling revere collared shirt I really like this style because it kind of looks unisex if anything or it's kind of more of a tomboyish look but I'm living for that. Last summer I saw my brother's girlfriend wearing a similar shirt. It was like a collared bowling shirt but it looks so good on her and I was like I want one too. So this one is really really cute. I really liked the navy version of it so that's the one I got. It has tigers and stuff on it. Super cute. It does go a little low cut though. It does go like very low cut so the first button kind of starts here. So unless you have like a super big chest, you won't, well I don't fill it out all the way. So I would love to wear this with a bralette. I just didn't pull one out for this video but I am so excited to wear this. And it's super comfortable too. And it's one of those shirts that I know that I can wear on a hot humid day and I won't completely 
just like die because it's not form fitting at all it's not hugging you or sticking to you but it still has that feminine touch especially when you tuck it into the front so I love this shirt it's my fave so I also picked up some boots because I feel like I always need footwear I don't know how to not get shoes so let's put it that way these are the pointed Chelsea style Western boots in the color black and I got mine in a size 6 uh, US size 6 and this is what they look like. They're just like your basic Chelsea style boots. I don't own a pair though, so I figured now would be a really good time to kind of invest in some. These are so cute and I love the fact that the heel is like so thick and so chunky, super blocky, because these feel so much better on my knees and they kind of just like distribute the weight evenly um, as opposed to skinny heels. So that's why if I get boots, I want them to have a nice thick heel so they're comfortable to walk in. They're really cute. The last thing that I'm going to talk about before I let you guys go is this lovely shirt that I'm wearing right now. So this is the off the shoulder woven bodysuit in the color stone. Do you loves it? I'm like, I feel like a fairy princess. I feel like Rapunzel or some set, but like in this, I am living for this. I feel like a dainty little princess. I feel like this is... I just like it. I just love it. I feel like there's a pattern with all the stuff that I'm grabbing. It's more like loose fitting because nobody likes to be sticky, especially if you're outside in the summer, if you're dancing, if you're moving a lot. Nobody likes to be sticky and this is like one of those things where it feels like if you're hot you could just go, this It's hot! <laughs> I just like the sleeves. Can we talk about the sleeves again? All right, guys, that is it. That is all for my little festival spring summer haul. Thank you guys so much again for watching. Thank you to Boohoo for collaborating with me for this video. If you guys are interested in any of the products that I mentioned, go down to my description box. I'll link everything there so it's easy for you guys to find. And also, if you have time, if you would like, please subscribe. If you like this video, leave me a comment down below. Hit the like button so I know that you like these kind of haul videos. Again, if you have time, if you like me, enough you can go ahead over to my instagram page it's at that linguistic go over there say hello i'm always always i'm always on instagram which is like not very good i would love to hear from you guys okay without further ado thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye natural disasters my baby has been around for me Falling, angels be calling. None of that could.